Good morning. Welcome to Sunday. It's day 455, I think. And it's beautiful. It is 56 degrees and very, very, very sunny. So we've got windows down, sunroof open, and we're going to make the most of this day. Welcome aboard. I could get used to this for March. And uh, there, there's an old woman. Ooh, check it out. We're down here at the castle, the country club, whatever we call it. And uh, it's going to look way better in a couple months when everything greens up. But it is still lovely out. We've got the heat on big times. But it's, but it's okay. It's okay because we got windows down. This is just absolutely awesome. Ah, yeah, WWT Fury! No, but seriously, it's 62 degrees, and I know I said it a few minutes ago, I'm saying it again now, this feels incredible. Um, it really feels like here as it usually does around May. So we're doing well. Just pulling back into the neighborhood now. And I don't know, I think we're gonna go biking a little bit on account of the fact it's so beautiful out here. And birthday dinner tonight for my dad. I've been watching the weather in California. It is shit. The weather in California is just dicked. Last week they had 79, 80. This is LA and San Diego. They had beautiful high 70s, low 80s, all sun. As soon as I get there on Friday, the clouds roll in, it drops down to 60 degrees, 62, 63, and it looks like it's going to rain half the time I'm there. Now that means they're saying a 30 or 50 percent chance. Hopefully it's just a shower overnight or something in the morning or not a whole day washout like we would have around here, but I don't know. So there's only one way to find out, and we will in a couple days. But even so, rain there in 60 is better than here, even if it's better weather here. Because stuff out there is green, and this is a good song. And I gotta change my clock, because our time changed. So check out this antiquated system here, that's right. 1 p.m., done. Freaking right we are, 64 degrees. Now I'm gonna come out here, and guess what? It's dry. I'm gonna cut the grass. <laughs> Yep, March the 10th, 11th, I don't know. That's like three weeks earlier than last year, but I'm, I'm taking the leaves off, I don't care. We'll get her done. All right, I don't know how long that took, maybe only 35, 40 minutes. Really just took off a bunch of leaves, and there's a lot still stuck down, you know, stuck down in the sod. So as the grass starts to grow, it'll push those out. We'll get those out next time. 66, I think it's time to pull the bikes out now. And check it, I rearranged the garage, snow blowers in the back. Yeah, front and center. Freaking rates it is. So the entire knee isn't twisted at all. Sorry. <laughs> all right. All right. It is so nice. What do we think it is now? About 73-ish? 70. It's in the sun here. It feels like 75. We've got some beautiful blue skies and just polished off some candy. Taylor's. <laughs> I don't think she saw, though. And, uh, we haven't seen any incredibly nice cars yet. A couple BMW Z4s that sounded good, and an Audi. I did see an S5 earlier today. So just what? Just stay there. Stay there. Oh. Straight now. Straight. Wow, Taylor, that it is absolutely remarkable. That looks very nice. Uh, 35 IS, beautiful. The C series. Uh, the BMW X C series. That actually does look pretty nice for being that old. All right, boys, we're trucking through the woods. We're at 73 degrees at 4:29 p.m. Uh, we got some water. Got a little bit of water, so we'll slow down. Avoid splashing the pole out. Yeah. Quite a bit of water over here, some bitch. This is usually Kenan's raceway. He likes to go through it here at about 40 and see how many times you can almost die. And then I stick back and, and enjoy the ride. Damn. Hi. Yeah. We're uh, just pulling back into the neighborhood and the neighbors got their ponies out and whatnot. And uh, we've done quite a, a distance today. If I weren't going downhill at 15 miles an hour, then I would take a look. Uh, 17. Taylor's up there feeling himself out or something. I can't tell. Picking his ass maybe. But we're going to go back and get a drink and then I'm off to dinner. And this has been an awesome friggin' day. Ah, 66 degrees. Ah, I'm sorry for talking about it so much. 
It's incredible though. It really feels like just this is just a day I get to live out of the middle of summer. And if this day happened in the middle of the summer, I would do nothing but bitch about how it's only 66 degrees. But uh, it really feels great. We're on our way to dinner now. Uh, it's my dad's 55th, I think, or something like that. So we're going to go eat some foods and uh, then I think get ice cream or something and go back to my grandparents' house and give him his Ferrari and stuff like that. I just got waved at by a Corvette driver. I respect people that like nice cars. It wasn't even one of the nice Corvettes from now, nicer Corvettes. It was one of the ones from the late 90s that is so ugly, and those weren't even as fast. The new ones are really, really, really good performance vehicles, but the older ones, I don't know what people liked about them so much. And I see a black M3 over here. Uh, there's a Mercedes S600 downtown, the one with the V12. Oh, the M3's pulling into Phil. Oh, that is nice. Check that out. Classy. So we just had dinner, we're down to 64 degrees, I don't care, heat's on a little bit, windows are still down, dinner was awesome. Headed back to their house now for cake and presents and crap. Got our own little convoy, the whole family here. We got the X5 up there, the smart car, the M5, and my cousin's 2012 Ford Escape or something behind us. The gang's all here. Had cake and watched my dad's DVD from his ski trip he took uh, in January and February and talked for a long time. I didn't film any of it as usual. It's awkward and it's pretty boring for anybody that's not in the family, quite frankly. Anyhow, you know I did get the yard done today. That was odd. It just took off a lot of leaves. And uh, I need gas. So I kind of put that here hoping that she'll take that and do it tomorrow. I don't know how much gas she has. And I would need the key to figure that out. But I'm not going to go ahead and get it because I'm lazy. And it's about 11 something, I think, 11.30 maybe. I don't even, maybe it's not even 11 yet. I have no idea. But I'm going to go in now and do what I usually do. Take a shower, crank out about 120 push-ups, do 25 crunches. Because that's what I do now. I, I don't know. That's what I do because it feels good. And it's still pretty warm out here. It's like 55. Tomorrow's supposed to be 54 and raining, 80% chance. And then... Then we're in the high 60s for the rest of the week in sun. And then I leave out to California and get in the 60s with thunderstorms. As long as it doesn't rain all day, every day, that's just like here. I don't care if we have some, I like thunderstorms, like thunderstorms are fine. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see in five days. I would like to wash this before I go, so maybe Thursday. Um, See, this week is, is going to be odd because I need to be completely packed and in bed Thursday night by like 9 o'clock because I'm getting up at 3 on Friday, 3, 3.30. We're leaving here around 4. Um, so it's going to be an odd week, as I said, because I need to keep everything. I can't, as I might say, take a debt in a day. I can't have 20 videos that I didn't get to in the Watch Later playlist. When I leave, I want everything completely caught up and ready to jump back in when I get back. I don't want to leave unfinished business in terms of school, um, online, emails, watch later playlist, all of that stuff. I don't want to have crap to do. So this week I'm just going to be playing catch up more than I usually do, which is a lot, every day. Any homework that I get is going to get done the day I get it, period. And being the week before spring break, I'm sure we're going to have plenty of little quizzes. And I know I have at least two, I have one test and one quiz this week. Neither one of them should be difficult. Um, but, you know, teachers are into the same mindset I am. They want to get stuff done and wrapped up so we can come back and start fresh and not have to try to remember stuff from 10 days ago and then take a quiz on it because that would just suck. So I've got four days. I'm probably going to have to stay Thursday for part of that study hall. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave at 125 and be done um, because I probably will have a test on some class on that Friday that I'm going to have to come in and do early at some point during this week. I need to fill out an advanced absence form. When you're going to miss a day of school, my motto is you miss one day, it takes one week to catch up. So this week I'm going to be playing catch up in the home life and all of the classes and it's a pain in the ass but I hope it pays off. So with that, before I start talking for like 20 minutes and bore you all, I would film stars but we've got a little bit of clouds up there. I can see just little spots and I don't see much. Uh, actually, I don't mind clouds at night because they generally retain heat for the next day. Uh, but it looks like we're not going to get that. So that's going to be it for today. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. If I remember to start the vlog or if I have time to start the vlog in the morning. And if not, it'll be about 2.10 p.m. or when I get home. You know the drill. So uh, hope you had a good weekend. And amen to finishing this next week.